What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ace coming back at you with another one. So today I got something special for y'all, man. I want to give y'all early look, sneak peek at a shoe that's going to be releasing on December 8th. Uh, it's about two, three weeks from now. Uh, Nike sneakers that did a little surprise drop the other day. It wasn't a big release, but you know what I'm saying? Enough people got in, got their hands on on grabbing a pair. But um, unfortunately, your boy took an L. But one of my homeboys, shout out Jaden, man. I do appreciate you letting me hold these shoes. Like I said, they come out December 8th. And I just want to give y'all a look at them, sneak peek, see if you want to go ahead and grab them or not when they do come out. And show y'all the differences from these pair, this pair compared to like the past pairs or whatnot. So, enough talking, man. Let's get into the shoes. Bam. Now, it's not a slide out box. A lot of people were complaining about the type of box it comes in. Um, honestly, I don't really care about the box. I care less what kind of box they come in. As long as it's got the right label of my shoe. But one thing I was a little upset about and a little disappointed about is um, for as long as I can remember, man, 11s always came with that piece of plastic, man, that goes like over the shoe. And that's not in these new Jordan 11 Concords. So that was a little disappointing, man. I thought they would have at least at least put that in i mean i understand they mass produced this pair so they probably just didn't that would probably cost a lot of money to put that plastic in every box because from what i heard there's over a million pairs of these shoes but bam jordan 11 concords beautiful shoe man Beautiful shoe. And boy, am I happy this is going to be a GR, man. I need two pairs, at least two pairs of these things, man. Differences between this shoe and the shoes in the past. On this sneaker right here, the Jordan 11, you got the 45 on the back instead of the 23. And then on this pair, you don't really notice it too much in pictures, but I did notice it as soon as I took them out of the box and first started looking at them in person. Um, the patent leather on these is definitely a bit higher. Like. You can notice it in pictures like, oh, okay, you can see that the patent higher, the patent leather is higher. But I guess I didn't realize like how much higher it was until I saw them in person. And to be honest with you, I think it's dope, bro. I like the patent, the patent leather a little bit higher. Um, the other ones, the old ones are straight too. Like, it's just, I think it gives, since it's a little bit higher, I think it's, I don't know, bro. I just think it's dope in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Other people might hate it. It is what it is. Everybody's got an opinion. I'm entitled to mine. But that's really about the only thing different with this shoe is the higher patent leather and the 45 on the back. You still got the Nike Air on the inside. And yeah, man. So we've seen sneaker... 
like news on this shoe for six, seven plus months. You know what I'm saying? So we all know that there's going to be a ton of these shoes made. So if you do want a pair, they should not be hard to cop. As long as you get out there and put in some footwork, go out there to the mall the day of the um, release. You know what I'm saying? Don't sit inside the crib and think that you're going to go to the mall a week later. And that they're still gonna have some because even though they're making a million pairs, a million plus, whatever, mark my word, this shoe right here will still sell out. This shoe is still going to sell out, I can promise you that. This shoe is one of the most classic shoes that that Jordan has ever came out with. So <clears throat> you got old heads you're gonna have dope boys coming out the woodworks for these bro you're anybody who has even the slightest bit of passion for sneakers you don't even gotta be like a full-blown like sneaker enthusiast nothing anybody who's got a little bit of passion for jordans is going for this shoe mark my word but like i said man it shouldn't be hard this shoe is so nostalgic to me man i remember when i was in second grade I had a best friend. His name was actually Jordan. And uh, his his family was very wealthy. And they had bought him a pair of these. And I grew up with a single mom. So, man, this shoe, I always wanted it in second grade. I was like, Mom, can I please get that pair of Jordan 11s that Jordan's got? And it was like, no, nah, not this week. Maybe, maybe when I get paid. And it seemed like payday never rolled around because I ain't never get a pair. <laughs> but, um... So yeah, you got people like me that have been like messing with Jordan shit for 20 plus years. And I'm going for at least two pairs for myself, you know what I'm saying? I don't think the resale value will be very high. So um, if you plan on copping the resale, you might as well go ahead and throw that out the window, man. There's going to be enough pairs to wear. Everybody should be able to get a pair. You're not going to be able to make money off reselling these shoes. And I think that's dope because shoes like this, that's a classic, bro. You got a lot of people like me, older cats that really want the shoe, man, for themselves. So producing a lot of pairs that deters the resellers, you know what I'm saying, from going out and trying to scrounge up all the pairs for themselves. If there's not really too much resale value, which there won't be, then not everybody's going to be trying to, like, get 10, 11, 12, 14, 15 pairs. They're going to just grab their one personal pair for themselves and keep moving. And that's the way it should be, man, because, I mean, I don't know, you resell sneakers, that's on you. That's, that's up to you, bro. That's your own decision. But when you got classics like this, bro, you got people that really, this shoe means something to people. You feel me? Like, this shoe actually means stuff to people. Just like that little story I just told you, bro. Like, it was always a shoe that I wanted that I couldn't have when I was a kid. So, I want a pair. And it's just, I feel like it takes the fun away from it. When you have people that just go out there and try to buy 15, 16, 17 pairs just so they can make a buck. When you got actual people that are, like, passionate about the shoe that don't even get to rock a pair. Anyways, that's a whole nother subject. The Jordan 11 Concords, December 8th, 2018. They should be releasing damn near everywhere, man. Um, I'm sure there will be, keep your eyes out for news on where there will be releasing. Probably finish lines, foot lockers, foot actions, probably all them shits. Um, but, are you guys going to cop? Are you going to let them go? You're not going for them. What are you going to do, man? Does this shoe mean anything to you? Because like I said, man, I can guarantee that's probably about as most classical as it can get with Jordans. I mean, of course, there's other ones that are like right up there with it. But Anyhow, your boy's got more content coming soon for you. So hit that subscribe button, push them post notifications, and hit that thumbs up one time for your boy, man. Just one time. Come on, man. Just one time. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to get up out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all be easy and mess with your boy.
peace.